Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I wanted to show you how do you calibrate your printer with Cricut Design Space so that you can use the print and cut feature. So as you can see, I have logged into my into my Design Space account and I would like to do a print and cut project, but I need to calibrate my printer. So how do you do that? You need to go up here after you've logged in and you see your name, click on the down arrow and it says calibration. So you want to go in and click on calibration and now it will walk you through a series of steps. I cannot tell you how easy this is. It's super duper easy. Don't be intimidated. I know a few of you have not done your calibration yet because you were worried about it. Now, two things. Each machine is a little bit different. You may need to repeat a couple of steps to make sure it gets perfect for you. You need to make sure that your um, image is going to cut within the black with within that black line, okay? And I'll talk about that here in a minute. It does not have to be perfect all the way around, but it needs to be within the black line so that it will cut okay for you when you do print and cut. All right. The other thing is. I use a wireless printer with my laptop. Okay, so I have a wireless adapter on my laptop because it didn't come with a wireless uh, built in. So I have a wireless adapter that's plugged into my laptop and then I have a wireless printer. I use an HP 5660 wireless printer, which I absolutely love. It's awesome. Anyway, um, some people were asking me, can you use a wireless printer and it still works? Oh, heck yeah. Uh, no problem there. Um, you can use one if you need to have one that's, you know, plugged into your computer or one that's, um, you know, on your network in your house or whatever. So, anyway, so this is what you need to do. You're going to come to this screen. It says print calibration, start calibration. Make sure you put paper into your printer. Now, I it needs to be white paper. You can use just regular copy paper if you want. I personally just put a piece of 8.5 by 11 white cardstock in my printer um, tray because it makes it a little bit easier when I need to peel it up to make sure that my calibration worked good around the edges for me to see it. It um, Anyway, that's my personal preference. But you can use, as long as it's white paper, you can use either your printer paper or you can use a piece of white cardstock, whatever fits in your printer, I guess. Um, all right, so once you get get your stuff set up in your printer, you're ready to go, you want to say continue. Okay, now it says power on your printer and make sure you have white paper, so they're telling you, and then click continue to start the calibration. It's going to print this sheet that you see here on the screen. Okay, so that's what it's going to do. I'm going to tell it to go do that it's going to come up and it'll look just like this for you it'll come up and it'll show you whatever your print screen looks like mine tells me that this is my printer and I don't it I just want it in black and white I'm not going to make it a color copy because there's no color here it's all black and white um, and you want to make sure that it says it's letter size and so forth so uh, I've got it all set up and now I'm going to hit print it will take it a moment to go to communicate to my printer to print out. In the meantime, you need to select what Cricut device, if you have more than one Cricut machine, which I have a Cricut Explore and a Cricut Explore Air. So I need to tell mine that I'm working with my Cricut Explore. And it is now printed out my sheet my calibration sheet it looks just like this okay I'm now going to load that onto my mat just the same way that you see there where you start up in the left hand corner alright so now we've done that you're just going to follow along with the steps here alright I'm going to show you the whole process so it, you're going to add it to your mat just like it is here. Just make sure you kind of smooth it down so it's on there good. You start it up in this left hand corner and put it on your mat. Then it says load. You know on your Cricut machine 
the flashing arrow button is what you would push. So I'm going to push the push that on here. Okay, and then it's going to ask me. Uh, it's going to remind me that I need to set it to whatever setting for the material I'm using. So I'm using a piece of white cardstock. You may be using. See right here, it says set your dial. So you you need you may need to set it on paper on the paper setting if you decide so if I change that and it goes to paper you'll see on your screen that it changed it to its paper so if you're just using the copy paper make sure you change it to copy paper all right I'm putting mine back on cardstock because I'm using white cardstock okay and then then it says press the flash and go button on the machine for it to begin the process so we're going to do that. Um, all right. Now what it's going to do, it's going to go through and it's checking for the sensor marked. All right. Now on your Cricut Explorer, there is a scanner. All right. The scanner is going to go and scan across the top of these registration marks. That's what these little L marks are that are on here. And it's scanning back and forth. And it's going to scan this way and then it's going to scan across this way. A light does come on where the scanner head is. Uh, on your Explorer, it's right next to where your, where your um, blade setting is. And it's going to scan across all of that. Okay. When it scans across it, it's reading these scanner marks. So that's why it's really important that you have good um, adhesion down here of your paper onto the mat uh, because you want this to be smooth so that it's, there's no bumps or anything so it can read all of that. It's going to go here, then it's going to go down here. No, I'm sorry, then it goes across, then it goes down here. And then it's going to go, and it's going to come, and it's going to cut this this um, square out first. Okay. Now, it has now cut that square, just this mid, this center one. All right. Now it's going to ask you test cut report without unloading the mat. Take a look at the cut line around the small square in the middle. Does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? Okay. So we're going to look. And I would say, yes, it cuts fine. So I'm going to look at that on mine. You need to look at it on you, yours. What you're trying to do is you just want to make sure that it has touched that black line all the way around. It may not be completely perfect all the way around, but it needs to have cut it, it touched it on the, on the line along that black line. Okay. So I'm going to tell it yes because mine did. Okay. I think it's funny. It says, we're getting closer. Now let's fine tune the calibration so your cuts can be perfect. Click on the continue button to perform the calibration cut. We'll move on to the next step automatically when your cut is done. So we're going to go. Now I've left my mat on my Cricut Explorer. I did not uh, do anything else with it. So I'm going to say cut. Okay. Now what's going to happen is it's going back through my machine. And when it goes back through the through the explore, it is now cutting, and it's cutting along. See these see these are numbers across the top where it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it goes all the way to twenty one, and then it goes A, B, C, D all the way down to U. Okay, it is actually cutting along those lines. All right. And it's, and it's going to go and it's going to cut along these. It's going to take a few minutes for it to do that. Okay. While, while it's doing, after, as soon as it's through doing that, then the next thing you're going to need to do is it says for the top, select, this is the top box, it says select the number where the cut is centered on the printed line. If no cut is centered, then pick the one that is the closest. Do the same for the letter to the right which is the letter. So the top is always a number and the letter and the right is always a letter. Okay? So you would need to look at these lines across the top. So let's do that. So look along the lines at the top and find the one 
that seems to most closely be in the center of that line. So let me look at mine real quick. And mine seems to be 14, seems to be the closest to the middle of the line. So I'm going to go down and pick 14, okay? Now I'm going to look at the alphabet down the side and see which one looks like it's closest to the center. Okay, and depending upon the lighting in your room, you may need to kind of stand up and look at this. I like to look straight over it because then that gives me the best view of if uh, it's really on the center of that line or not. Okay, and it appears to me that my H is the most centered, so then I'm going to pick H, all right? So once I've done that, then I'm going to click continue. All right, now what it's doing, it is going to cut around this black bigger box around the outside of your Explore uh, box, okay? So it's going to cut along this black line all the way around, all right? Then it prompts you to, you may pull the test cut from the mat. Are you happy with your cut? And what it's asking you is, when you cut this, when it cut it, when you pull it away, does it look like it is cut so that the black is showing on your project all the way around? Okay, I'm going to say I'm happy with my cut, so I'm going to say yes. It says, great news, we're almost done. Click the continue to the final calibration screen. Okay, save calibration settings, click the save button, and close it. You'll be able to continue cutting the pages you have already printed. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. They say, okay. Now I have completed the process. If you are not happy, if you say no, I did not like my calibration, it will then take you back through the process and you can redo this over and over until you get it so that you feel like yours is calibrated exactly the way you need to do it. There's no limit to how many times you can calibrate. I'm going to show you my page so you can see exactly what mine did. Uh, bear with me for a minute while I get that set up. Okay, now continuing with the calibration process, I wanted to show you exactly what mine looked like so that we you can see it, an actual one that's been cut and not just walk through the process. So as you can see here, here is my um, calibration sheet and it's on my Cricut mat still. I left it on there so you guys could see it and I've got it up here in the left hand corner here were my uh, cali calibration registration marks. Okay, there's one at the top, there's two at the top, and then there's one down here at the bottom, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but as you can see, what has happened is it cut the lines. Can you guys see the lines? Okay, so it cut the lines. Don't be concerned. It's supposed to cut off of them and then back on them and then back off of them, okay? It did the same thing through for the numbers. Okay, there we go. All right, so for the number across the top, remember what I said? When I looked at it, I felt like that the number 14 was the closest to the center of the line. So see how on these... Can you guys see that there? Okay. Now you can see where the lines are cutting. All right. They're kind of off. 
Don't be alarmed if it's doing that. You want to wait until it gets to one where it looks like it's the center. Okay, so number 14 for me looked like it was the center. I had to stand over my mat to make sure that I saw that it really looked on the center and to the right. This one was a little bit too far over to the left. So this number 14 looks like it's down the center of that line. So I picked number 14. Now over here where the alphabets are, when you look at these cuts, yeah, so you can see that you start noticing that they are cut to the right or to the they're either above or below the line so for me the H was the one it's hard to see in the video the H is the one that would seem to be completely perfectly centered on the line okay so that's why I picked 14 and H when it asked me where did where was it calibrated all right now I'm gonna raise the camera up here now so that you guys can see when I take this off all right I don't need this anymore I'll just get rid of that but you can see now that it's a little bit heavier on one side but it has actually cut along the edge so that I can see the black okay that is a good calibration you don't have to worry about it. I'm also going to take the middle piece out. Okay. So it cut. There's still some of the black on there when it cut the middle piece. Um, but as long as it's cut so you still see some of the black, then your calibration should be fine. Because when you do print and cut, it, it actually bleeds the image. The, around the outside of the image and so you're going to get a um, image that's already already bled over the line so you just want it to cut within that bleed line okay it automatically defaults to that in Cricut Design Space so that you are good to go when you're ready to print and cut